Uh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things that you want and need on DigiKey.com. Thank you, DigiKey. Lady Ada, what is the great search of the week? Okay, so if you go to the overhead back, I was just talking about um, how I'm trying to debug this board and I'm having some failures with these signals. They're, the display isn't recognizing these synchronization uh, signals as correct, and I don't know why, and I'm in a, I'm in a snit. And so uh, I removed one of these resistor packs in order to get directly to that data so I can pipe in known working data and at least and I can remove one pin at a time until it like, magically works. I don't know. Um, and to do that, I soldered um, these wires on, and I was like, oh, you know, I never covered wire wrap wire, which could be really, really handy. Um, this is Kynar wire wrap wire. Hold on. Oh, my God. This is so close. And um, this 30-gauge solid solid core wire with the like, it's called Kynar sometimes um, coating. I use it all the time for debugging and hot wire fixing boards. Sometimes it's called blue wire because people tend to use the blue wire for wire wrap um, hacks. Um, very, very common. Um, I definitely recommend if you're doing PCB design to have some of these because um, you can get into, you can see quite small pads. Um, you know, if you're using like 8.8 eight or 10, 10 mil rules, um, you could definitely use this wire. So let's go to my computer and go to DigiKey. Another option, um, cause I want it, cause it's like, we just type in wire wrap into DigiKey, a little boring. You can also use um, magnetic wire. Um, and this is from Elm Chan who like somehow, um, has written all code that everyone uses for electronics everywhere. Um, really cool person. I hope one day to meet them. Uh, so they rec they they've made some beautiful designs and they use magnet wire and magnet wire is also a very uh, thin wire. I'll say one thing that's nice about magnet wire is that um, the enamel on it you can see it's it's it, it the enamel is what makes it non conductive. It's often used for coils for you know so it needs to be coiled up and then the enamel keeps it from conducting, but it's very very thin. You can get it much thinner than wire wrap wire, and you don't have that cover that might get in the way but on the other hand there's the risk that if you nick it it will conduct so it's like it's risk it's like more advanced because it's riskier um but it allows you to do like really complicated boards like this one you see is a mix of soic um looks like you know dfn and uh, tqfps so um pretty cool stuff so let's go to uh Actually, let's go to Wikipedia and I'll talk about wire wrap. So wire wrap wire was originally used um, for wire wrapping around these pins that were used to create PCBs. And this was how you did point to point wiring before printed circuit boards were basically like two bucks a piece. Um, they used to be virtually impossible for people to get very, very expensive. And so students would use or even engineers would use wire wrap wire and they would have these posts that they would wrap using a wire wrapping tool oh, actually sorry this is not uh i don't know if they have the tool here yeah wire wrapping tool uh and so this was a wire would snake in and then you would you twist it and um it would make this perfect tight um wrap and it would be like a, a cold weld it would be a, a good soldering connection without soldering and you could undo it and you could with colored wires you could trace it around and you could of course make these complicated 3d shapes uh, so wire wrap wire, which, you know, which is wire, 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 has its own category. Uh, so let's look at what is available. So it's like 99, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's like, there's not a lot of variation in it. So let's look at active and only stocked it uh, in stock. So just, just get rid of all the other ones. So the wire gauge. 24 gauge seems really thick. I think that's what actually be used for like wire wrapping power connections. Um, for PCB hacking, 30 gauge is plenty. It's more than enough. Next up, um, what color? Basically everyone goes with blue. I'll say that there's one interesting thing. So there's two jackets available. There's PVDF, like, you know, PVC. And that's what I use and it's perfectly fine. You could also get uh, tetrafluoro, which is like a like Teflon, I think is what it's sometimes called. And these are going to ETF, ETFE is going to be more expensive. 
um, significantly. Like, you know, this is a hundred feet and it's like 40 bucks instead of, you know, 10 bucks. Um, this doesn't have as much temperature. It's, it's less, uh, it's more resistant to temperature variation. And I believe that when you solder, you know, you solder the, the tip of the wire, the heat, the, um, jacking doesn't pull away because it's more resistant. However, having worked with Teflon wire, it's a total pain in the ass to, to strip with wire strippers. So it's like, you have to have it like really good quality wire strippers. You can't just kind of, oh, like it's close enough and I'm just yanking. It's not, if you just, you have to like really cut through and yank rather than just sort of pulling the jacketing off. So, um, you know, if you absolutely need the temperature resistance, go for it. Um, and then, you know, you could go by price. Uh, you know, we have a, a roll you can get. Um, Jonard has multiple different colors available. Kind of like these photos, red, yellow, green. Honestly, a lot of people do blue. But one thing I thought was interesting, oh, this is interesting, you can just get like little, little strips, um, is that there is a version because I was like looking at this and I was like, what do you mean with dispenser? So um, if I had to do it, first off, there's this cool like five wire color kit, which I would recommend if you're like going to be doing a lot of wiring uh, and repair. It's a little bit more. It's like 85 bucks. You get a lot. But this is definitely cool. So one thing that is really annoying about wire wrap wire is you buy a spool of a couple hundred feet, but you're never going to get to use it because it gets like knotted so quickly because it's it's like you're pulling in and it's it twists around itself and then it comes off and then you rewrap it and then when you rewrap it it gets tangled you can get them with dispensers which i did not know if i was going to start my life over again with all the knowledge i have which is like it's like a meme i would get wire wrap wire with the dispenser so this is what i recommend not just a spool, get it in this casing. You'll actually get to use the whole thing. It's just my pick for the great church. Great church. Wait.